Hey there you guys, William here with another episode of The Walking Dead. I honestly forgot what I did last time because I haven't recorded this in a while, but eh, let's, let's continue. Oh wait, weren't we about to attack Crawford? Yeah, I decided to bring Clementine along with me because she was begging and she's so adorable. But yeah, so let's continue the game. I think this video may have a little bit of overlap with the last video because I ended the last video not on a checkpoint, but yeah. I'll just do the same decision. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him, cleaned out the wound. He's got a real infection, running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. Yeah, we should There might there. actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about Shut the, the fuck up. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take I a chance on guy. doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. Come so cute. No, don't worry. We have a good plan and good people. We'll be in and out before they even know we're there. You trust me, don't you? Yeah. That's my girl. 
I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Clementina, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Ovi. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me. Yeah, he might turn into a zombo. That would be bad. Can't I come with you? Okay, Fine. you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet Squeeze and do exactly spaces, what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find she her... This little girl's not just you. excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Well, thank you, you dick. I really hate her. I really hate that girl. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Hmm. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Let's go. Wow, there are not very many guards in Crawford. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one. Over there, by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Pulls out. 
pulls out a fucking gun when it says no shooting unless there's a no other choice. What the fuck? Crawford was attacked by Zombos. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Well then, I was not expecting that. I was expecting some resistance or something. <laughs> Guess is as good as mine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. Hey, he's right. Now they're all zombies. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. Okay, I'm not do you want to do a head count? Okay. Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Be on guard, I guess. like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. be the best place to look for medicine right here nurses station they were using it as a medical facility how do you know that just makes sense doesn't it yeah cuz she was part of proper right any idea where we could find a battery maybe at the auto shop there used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. 
If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our Don't way out of here. give that guy I'll guns. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. Why do you always I'll trust you Ben and Clementine? It, okay? He has never protected her. You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Yeah, I'm coming. Shut up. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Let's enter then, I guess. Damn, it's jammed tight. That's typical. Get too close. Oh, what? The Leave hell? him. He's mine. Nice to see you. Wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now.
Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. How the fuck is that guy so hard? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Oh wait, this light's blinking. I can't reach it up there. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Yeah. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Hmm, perfect. The light is flashing up there. And I am going to see who you're playing on. No power. I will be right back. And back. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Okay, so probably need to turn on the power somewhere. It's locked. No way in. It looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Blinking. Must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Well, what can I do? No power.
Looks like Crawford already used this battery for something else. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Is there a way I can possibly get into the truck? Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I can't reach it up there. Okay, this one caused a lot of noise. Or not. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attention to the terminals. Still attention to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Great, now what? Skylight. Stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Yeah! Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's a hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. Hey, hey, hey. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. 
How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Let's see if we can't tell from this door. And hope Ben doesn't get a fucking gun. Where's Clementine? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be I think alive. Kenny can hear you. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Hopefully Kenny Just kills not this now. Bitch. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Okay. Anyway, guys, I think I am going to end that episode there. This has been recording for about 33 minutes now. I don't know how long the video will be when it gets released. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. If you have a comment, please leave it down. Thank you guys so much for watching.